everyone, Jason Case here with another video. And today I want to talk about how to fix a failing marketing strategy. So there's a few things I always like to look at when a marketing campaign is not working. But first thing you need to know is you need to give it some time before you start changing too many things. Marketing strategies usually take a few months to dial in. And before you end a campaign, you should test and measure a lot of different things before you really come to a conclusion that it's not a right fit for your company. And then again, if it's not working, doesn't mean it's not going to work in the future. You can always come back to it and test it again as your company grows and you redefine some things. <clears throat> but these are some things I like to look at and always test and measure during those initial months when you're starting a new marketing campaign to really try to dial it in. So your messaging. Your messaging is probably one of the most important things of all marketing channels and even your sales um, closing tactics. It comes down to your messaging. <clears throat> Uh, what offer are you using? Test and measure this, because maybe the offer is not aligning with your target audience. Um, ad images. So if you're running uh, images on or ads on Facebook, try to use some emotional images. Emotional images usually work really well. It grabs people attention. But at the same time, don't just use an emotional image that doesn't align with your ad copy. Make sure your copy and your images uh, work well together. Um, but on Facebook ads, usually your messaging and your images, those are your two main things that you need to look at. Um, your target audience. So who are you targeting? Does um, your messaging, your offer, your images, everything align with this target audience? Um, and also your demographics. Are you narrowing too, ne or too narrow of a demographic? Because sometimes on Facebook, this can cause a problem. Um, now, with your direct mailing campaigns and other marketing um, message or marketing methods, usually the narrower the target audience, the better. But usually on Facebook, the broader you go, I mean, not the broader, but having a little bit broader uh, reach, usually if you're targeting national, uh, a million to three million um, reach is a good area to hit. And on locally, if you can uh, broaden this a little bit more, this will help. It'll help boost your relevance score. We've seen relevance scores that are, are usually high, like say you're running a relevance score of eight, by just brightening that breach a little bit more will help bump that uh, score up another point, which helps drive your cost per click down. So again, the lower the cost per click, the more engagement you get to your landing page, the better chance you have of uh, converting more leads. <clears throat> um, your landing pages. So if you're driving traffic to your landing pages from whatever marketing campaign you're running and you're not converting those leads, then something's going on here. So things to ask are, are these landing pages aligning with your ads? Is your uh, messaging that you're using on these ads aligning with your, you know, your landing page? If not, you know, it could be design, or if your messaging is aligning and your ad copy is aligning, then it could be design elements on these landing pages. A, B, split test, different things on that landing page to, um, to try to dial, dial in those conversions better. Are you retargeting? If you're not retargeting these leads, then you definitely need to. I mean, this is essential to conversions because not everybody's ready to opt in um, or buy at that time. So you need to be retargeting these people and following them around so you can try to answer any objections they might have and bring them back in and get them to opt in. And last but not least, email nurture campaigns are essential. If you're not running any email nurture campaigns, then the rest of this is kind of a waste because you need to stay with these people. Not everybody's going to be ready to buy right then. You need to stay with them on an ongoing basis. That way you can catch them at the peak of their interest when they're ready to buy. So look at these things when your marketing campaigns aren't working well, you think they're failing, you need to test and measure. You need to look at your data. You need to find out what's going on and, and tweak these along the way until you can fine tune this. And like I said, this takes time. So don't just nix a campaign if something's not working in the first 24 hours or first week. It takes time to fine tune this stuff and dial it in. And then over time, you can get it working. And if it doesn't work and you nix it in the uh, first few months, then that's fine. But it doesn't mean it's not going to work down the road. Things change in your company. Uh, you might get better brand awareness over time. Circle back to it and try it again later. 
Anyway, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys find this information useful. Take care and talk to you tomorrow.